many of the playlist object's functions will be familiar to you. Click on the playback icon for a clip to play. Click on the loop icon to toggle looped playback. Just like an audio track in Ableton Live, playing a new clip will automatically stop the current one. You can select a portion of a clip to set that clip's loop points. You can creatively scrub the file by moving or changing the loop points around. All of this functionality is built into the playlist object and ready to explore before doing any patching. Uh.